What is up guys? Welcome to the Big Unbox, where we do that small tech, and today I am back with another big unboxing for you for the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and today we're back with the case from OtterBox. This is going to be the Defender Plus Pop Series 2 Unbox, do a quick review. As always, I'll throw up the link in the video description. So, this one, pricing, it really varies. I think the pricing <laughs> outrageously, like 50 to 60 bucks if you get it on OtterBox's website. I was able to look around, got it on Amazon for like 30 so that's definitely a win for the price column. So check out, do some shopping, I'll throw up the link. I'll try to find the cheapest one I can find, I'll throw up the link for you guys if you're interested in this. This is going to be an interesting case, this is going to be the big boy OtterBox, but without that actual screen protector, that pre-installed screen protector, that's really not for me anyway. So this one hopefully is going to give you some superior protection for your Pro Max presentation. Looks legit. You got a little pop socket, OtterBox branding up top, very clean. And you can see right there, OtterBox right there. And then just shows you the more details about the case itself. Side, same thing. And then the back. So nice presentation. You can just tell from the actual box itself, it's going to be some thick case. So hopefully some big boy protection for your pro. Let's go and bust this out to see if it's a hit or miss, guys. Throw this to the side so my first impression this is gonna be the gray version so it should look really clean against the uh iphone 11 pro max space gray soft matte bl or matte gray finish you can see the pop socket right there i'm not a huge pop socket guy but i can see where it can you know come in handy for a lot of people's purposes especially to hold the device itself this is probably one of the first things i noticed guys is this is a huge case so really, I can't. I got small hands. You know, it is what it is. I got small hands. I'll admit it. But for me to put my hand around this case is really tough. So I can see where if you bust out the pop socket, it's easier to hold. So you are still getting some really nice protection, huge protection. But this is actually a lot easier to hold than it would be like this. So I do give them that. So the actual the feeling of it feels a lot better with the pop socket. Got a little OtterBox branding right there. Very subtle and clean. And then the interior, I like this a lot. You, it's actually got this little padded material. It kind of doesn't feel that premium, but the padded material itself is going to give you some nice protection. I don't really care how it looks. The feel of it is great, and it should give you some soft protection for the interior of the phone itself. You can see you got that extra reinforcement around the bumper. And then you say, you, this is a dual layer case. So I'm going to try to do like the old squatter boxes. You kind of got a, it's a dual air case where you kind of got to piece it together, the uh, Defender series. So this is probably going to be the same exact way. It feels like in your hand, one part shell, but I believe it's actually going to be a two part case. So let's go and try to figure out this real quick here. See if I can get it busted out. Let's see what we got. Str there we go. So this is actually definitely, you, it, they do it a good job of not being able to tell. So there's your actual kind of a, uh, material it's, it's a thick rubber material feels very very flexible and durable itself so very nicely done and then you can see the cutout for the pop socket hard shell plastic you got the extra reinforcement for the camera and then you get that material for the interior right there as well so very nicely done hopefully this is going to be easy let's try this real quick yep there we go that's going to be piece by piece so this is going to be a little bit of a challenge to put on Let's put that to the side. So I'm rocking currently. This is actually going to be a ladder case. So this is going to be very, you're going to go from no protection to full body protection. So that's how we're going to roll here today. Let's put that to the side. And then wipe it down, wipe it down, make it look beautiful for the camera. That space gray, look, it's still looking beautiful. One thing I got to say about this one, I love the matte finish. It holds up really well. No fingerprints at all. This this color has been probably my favorite color so far for any Apple product because of, the, again, you're getting the maximum benefit of actual uh, space gray, but you don't have the fingerprints, nothing like that, and it still looks beautiful, and it's very dark, beautiful, pretty much goes with any case as well. So let's go and try this. We'll pop it in like this. Should snap right into place. Boom. You can hear it snap. There you go. Definitely going to add some bulk. And then what we're going to do is layer it up right here. This is that old school fear of OtterBox. You got that old school feel of an OtterBox where you kind of got to take that material 
and like work it around to get it fitted just right. But this is not going to be for everybody. This is going to be for one of those, you know, people that use their phone on an everyday basis but worried about dropping it. And uh, maybe you, you got one of those on the field jobs, construction jobs. This is one of those top cases that you're just worried about maximum protection over style. So there you go. Let's, let's check that out. Beautiful looking. I actually like the way the design. It's huge. It's going to add some heavy duty bulk to it. What do you guys think about that? Nice looking case. It's going to be a matte finish. It's grippy. Really nice grip to it. The sides are grippy. Just the overall build is grippy. So I appreciate that. We'll take out this pop socket. Boom, definitely. I appreciate the pop socket here. This is actually going to be a lot better to hold than an actual case without this. To me, I don't see it necessary for a lot of cases, but for this size of this case, this makes a big difference in just overall holding the phone on an everyday basis. So nicely done, and it tucks away. It is a little bit wobbly, so that's probably one of my downfalls with that. It's got that wobble wobble factor. Not a huge fan of that. But I'll take it with this particular, it, you're, it's, you're getting the better benefit of it without being in there. So ho hopefully the rest of the case is a hit, but I like this so far a lot. Camera protection, nice reinforcement around the camera protection. Look at that's it's raised up around the ca camera hump. So that's a huge camera hump, but they raised it up. So you got to raise the edge around the camera hump that you got nothing there to worry about. So even if you drop it. I think there's that big gap there that you have nothing to worry about. So very nicely done, which you'd expect from a big boy case. Let's check out the lip because everybody likes a fat lip. And that is a huge lip, guys. Look at that. Extra reinforcement. You got it raised up. And then you got this extra reinforcement, this hard shell plastic around the bumper itself. It kind of just sits on the screen and then it raises it up from there with the actual kind of like a rubbery feel material or all the way around the bumper itself so there's some flexible durability i wouldn't be worried about draw i think you're good to go i'm rocking a screen protector it appears to be fully compatible so it's not popping up the screen protector or anything like that so very nicely done let's check this out alert slider tucked away there covers up again this is going to be for everybody that's you know one of those jobs construction type jobs that just needs maximum protection volume up and down clicky enough nice material speakers look good cutouts look precise let's take this out i'm not a huge fan of this type of thing around especially on the the power but i think that that would be easy just to cut off if you're not a big fan of that i probably wouldn't recommend it but i think if you needed to you could probably make a flush or a, pretty much a nice cut that's flush around the actual power to cut that off if you're not a fan of that flop flap or whatever and then power button right there, clicky and responsive. Just a nice looking case, heavy duty case, maximum protection. So I'm gonna say this guys, it's definitely not worth 60 bucks, but if you can look around, get a coupon code, or if you find it on Amazon for like 30 bucks, 35 bucks like this, and you need some heavy duty protection to protect that really expensive iPhone Pro Max, I would say definitely check this one out. It's going to be a hit in my book. I like the pop. I would probably recommend the pop socket version. I would go with that one, especially for just overall nice feel in your hands. So check this one out. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section. We'll call it a hit. Hit the subscribe button. See you guys next time.